So the crochet hook that I'm using is in size 3.5 millimeters. And uh, this yarn, it's, uh, it looks kind of hairy. I don't know if that's a correct term, but it has some of this fluff around it. I guess I'll use these two colors. And I'll start with this one. So the yarn is, okay, here's the brand. Okay, so you guys can read it. Okay, so this one, it says it's in size two, fine. We'll start by making a slip knot. And then I will chain nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now that we have chained nine, on the last chain from the hook, I'll make a slip stitch. Okay, so now I'm going to chain six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now right here through this loop, I'll make two triple trouble crochet cluster. So I'm going to wrap the yarn on my hook four times. Then I'll insert my hook right here through this loop, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through, wrap the yarn around the hook, pull through two, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two. Now I'm going to wrap the yarn around the hook four more times. Then I insert my hook right here through this loop. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through. Wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Now we have three loops on our hook. So we wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through three of these loops. So this completes our first triple trouble crochet cluster. Now I will chain five. Now again, through that same loop, I will make three triple trouble crochet cluster. So we wrap the yarn around the hook four times. Then I'll insert my hook right here through this loop, wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through. Wrap the yarn around the hook, pull through two. Wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two. Wrap the yarn around the hook, pull through two. Wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through two. So now we have two loops on our hook. So again, we wrap the yarn around the hook four times. Then I insert my hook right here through this loop. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through. Wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook, pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook four times. Then right here through this loop, I insert my hook. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Wrap the yarn on the hook and pull through two. Now we have four loops on our hook. So I'll wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through four of these loops. So from now on I won't be telling you how to make a triple trouble crochet cluster. I will just be referring to it as a triple trouble crochet cluster. Again now I will chain five. Then right there through that same loop I'll make three triple trouble crochet cluster. Yeah, baby. Yeah? I didn't get the honor roll. Oh, yes, you did. Mommy. Yeah. I didn't get the honor roll. Oh, I got student principal. What? I got student principal. Higher than honor roll. <gasps> Come here. Give me love. Give me love. I'm so proud of you. Give me a kiss. Wow, give me a high five. I'm so proud of you. So I'll chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twen
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, right there through that same loop, I'll make three treble treble crochet cluster. Chain five. Then right there through the same loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. Again, I will chain five. Then right there through that same loop, I will make three triple triple crochet cluster. So this completes row one, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you, you see this seven chain here in the middle? Okay, remember here, here and here we have five chains. Here and here we have five chains. But right here through the center, we have seven chains. So we have six, three triple triple crochet sets. Five chains here, five chains here, five chains here, five chains here, five chains here and seven chains right here. Okay, so that completes the first row. And now for row two, I'll use yarn in color B. Then I insert my hook right here through this first chain. Then I will chain eight. Now, right here through this first five chain loop, I'll make three triple trouble crochet cluster. chain five and through that same five chain loop I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster Now I will chain seven. Then right there through the next five chain loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. Chain five. Then through the same five chain loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster.
and now I will chain seven and now that we have reached the center right there through that seven chain loop I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster Chain five. Then through that same seven chain loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. Now I will chain seven. Then right there through this loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. Again, through that same loop, I'll make chain five. Then right there through that same loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. And now I will chain seven. Then right here through this next five chain loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. chain five then again through that same loop I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster I will chain seven. Then right there through that same five chain loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. Chain five. Then right there through that same five chain loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet.
Now I'll chain two wool, then through this turning chain, see, right here through this first chain, not through the treble treble crochet cluster chain, but through this chain next to it, we'll make one treble treble crochet. You see, right there. Now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. So this completes row two. Here, through this first five chain loop, we have made three treble treble crochet cluster. We chained five, then through that same five chain loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I then chained seven. Then through the next five chain loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I chained five, then through that same five chain loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I then chained seven, then through that seven chain loop, Right here through the center, I made three treble treble crochet cluster, I chained five, then through that same seven chain loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I then chained seven, which, uh, and this seven chain loop here makes the center continue. So then right there through that same seven chain loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I chained five, then through the same seven chain loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I then chained seven. Then through the next five chain loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I chained five. Then through the same five chain loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I then chained seven. Then through the next five chain loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I chained five. Then through the same loop, I made three treble treble crochet cluster. I then chained two. Then right there through that turn in chain, the first turn in chain, I made one treble treble crochet. Now. I'll use yarn in color B. I'm sorry about the noise, somebody's working outside or something. Okay, so now for row three, I'm going to turn my work around. Then right here through this first triple treble crochet chain, I'll insert my hook. Then as I said earlier, I'll use yarn in color B. So now, again, I'll chain eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, right here through this next five chain loop, we don't work here in this two chain loop, don't work there. But through this five chain loop, I'll make three treble treble crochet cluster. Now I'll chain five. Then right there through that same five chain loop, I'll make th three treble treble crochet cluster. Now I'll chain seven. From now on, it's going to be much easier to work. To, you know, you know where to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then I'll skip this first seven chain loop, but through this next five chain loop, I'll make three treble treble crochet cluster. Chain five. Then through that same five chain loop, I'll make three treble treble crochet cluster. Again now I'll chain seven. Then I'll skip the next seven chain loop, then right here to this five chain loop I'll make three treble treble crochet cluster.
Then I will chain five. And right there through that same five chain loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet clusters. I'll chain seven, then right here through this seven chain loop, see right here through the center, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. Now I will chain seven. Then through the same seven chain loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. Now, chain seven. Then right here, through this next five chain loop, I'll make three triple trouble crochet cluster. Chain five. Right there through that same five chain loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. Now I will chain seven. Then right, and then I'll skip the next seven chain loop. Then through the next five chain loop, I'll make three triple trouble crochet cluster. Chain five. Then through the same five chain loop, I'll make three triple trouble crochet cluster. Chain seven. Then I'll skip the next seven chain loop. Then right here through this five chain loop, I'll make three triple trouble crochet cluster. Then right here through that same loop, I'll make three triple trouble crochet cluster. Chain five. 
chain two. Then I'll skip this next triple crochet chain and through this next chain right next to it. See the turning chain from our previous row. Well, right through the chain, I'll make one triple triple crochet cluster. Now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. Okay guys, so from now on we are going to repeat rows two and three, two and three. But I'm going to tell you now one more time out loud what I did for the third row, just in case you missed it. So in the beginning I chained eight. Then through this next five chain loop, I made three triple triple crochet cluster. Then right here through the middle, I chained five. Then through that same loop, I made three triple triple crochet cluster. I then chained seven. Then I skipped this first seven chain space. But in the next five chain space, I made three triple triple crochet cluster. Now I will chain five. Then through the same loop, I'll make three triple triple crochet cluster. And then I chain seven. Then I skip the first seven chain loop. So through the next five chain loop, I made three triple triple crochet. I chained five. Then through that same loop, I made three triple triple crochet cluster. I then chain seven. Then right here through the center, through the seven chain loop, I made three triple triple crochet cluster. Again, I chained seven. Then through the same seven chain loop, I made three triple treble crochet cluster. Again, I chained seven. Then through the next five chain loop, I made three triple treble crochet cluster. I chained five. Then through the same five chain loop, I made three triple treble crochet cluster. Again, here I chained seven. Then I skipped the first seven chain. Then right here through this next five chain loop, I made three triple treble crochet cluster. I chained five. Then through that same five chain loop, I made three triple triple crochet cluster. I then chain seven, then I skip the next seven chain loop right here. So right to the next, so right here through the last five chain loop, I made three triple triple crochet cluster. I chained five, then through that same five chain loop, I made three triple triple crochet cluster. I then chain two, then right here through the last chain, not through the last triple triple crochet cluster, but through the last chain right next to it. It was a turning chain from our previous row. Well, right through that first chain, I made one triple treble crochet. Repeat rows two and three for the pattern. Now, let me just measure this. So I ended up making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So yeah, I ended up making 16 rows. So let me see how long it is for you guys. So it's around 31 inches long. Now let me check how wide it is. So it's around 56 inches wide. I think I said 31 inches long and 56 inches wide. Now we're just going to make some tassels because I'm going to put tassels right here through these five chain spaces. Okay? Only through five chain spaces. I will not do anything. I'll not make any tassels through seven chain spaces, only through five chain spaces. So I'm thinking I'm going to use two of these colors combined. So I already showed you guys many times how to make tassels, but I'm going to do it again today. So I have a notebook here. Uh, if you are American, you already know how long is this uh, composition book, but for people around the world who don't have this type of notebooks. I'll just show them. But it's long, well, 10 and a half inches, almost, almost 10 inches long, actually. So it was between nine and a half and 10 inches. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use two of these trends. Okay, hold on. Hopefully it will turn out okay. I don't know if it's going to look good with two of these colors, but we shall see.
just gonna make regular testicles. I haven't thought of anything else yet. So I have uh, three, four, five, six. I think this should be enough. Let me see, one, two, three, yeah. I think this should be enough. Let me count them again. So we have three in one color and three in the other. We have six strands in total. So it's gonna fold this in half like this. Make sure it's even. Then I'll pull this right here through this five chain loop right here at the center. All right. Okay. So there is the first one. Again, I'll take six more strands, three in each color. Three, four, five, six. Let's make sure they're even. We want them to be even. Okay. Just fold this in half like this. And we'll skip this next seven chain loop, but through this next five chain loop, I will pull this. Uh, six strands through then I'll just make a simple knot okay I'm gonna see how it I'm gonna see how this works may, uh, I'm gonna see how this works when I make the tessels only through these five chain spaces if I don't like how it looks then I might put them through seven chain spaces too but for now let's just try this and we'll see what happens so again we're going to use six strands, three in each color. All right, there you go. And then I will fold this in half, just like this. Then I'll skip the next seven chain loop. Then through this five chain loop, I'll insert these seven strands. See, I, I fold them in half and then I insert them through that loop. Then I'll just make a simple knot. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So I'm going to continue this for the rest of the five chain spaces. Then I'll come back and show you how it looks. If it doesn't look good, then we might add some more to seven chain spaces, but we'll see. Okay guys, I'm done. So I think it looks pretty neat like this actually. So I'm not going to add any more tassels right here through the seven chain spaces. So only through these five chain spaces I actually already finished. And this is what we already have. It's actually a very, very light shawl. And it kind of looks nice. So this is all for today guys, thank you so much for watching.